Hey everyone, welcome to Bada Boom. I'm Troy. Today, I want to talk to you about what I think is going to be the future of animation for Marvel and DC. And that is anime. Now, DC's just finished up an anime series called Suicide Squad Isekaya. All 10 episodes are on HBO Max, and I'd recommend you go watch it. It's a good story, it follows a typical Suicide Squad storyline, but there's some unique elements with it being an Isekai story. I won't spoil it here, but I do have to say I thoroughly enjoyed it, it's well drawn, the writing's good, and there's a pretty good teaser for what's going to happen in Season 2. So, but this is just one anime project that DC's done recently. They've done other projects in the past that I don't feel landed that well. The Ninja Batman didn't really land that well for me. They did do a Catwoman movie that was drawn in the style of anime, and I thought that was decent. I liked it. I thought it was I thought it was good. But I think if they dip their toe further into it, it's going to be the future of it. Now, Marvel on the other hand, they haven't done hardly anything in the realm of anime. They've been doing more in animation with What If and X-Men 97, but when it comes to anime, they haven't done much. But that might all be changing soon. Now, there has been a rumor going on that instead of doing an Eternals 2 movie, the rumor is that that movie, live action, has just been canned. It's just not going to happen. But instead of doing a live action, there's a rumor that they're going to get an anime movie. And I think this makes complete sense for the situation for the Eternals. Now, the first Eternals hit and miss for a lot of people. Some people loved it, some people didn't. The cliffhanger at the end really got some people, didn't get some people. It's, it's a mixed bag. So I don't think there's enough people, and I don't think it did a lot of well at the box office, that people are like, yeah, we should really do another live action Eternals soon. But I think there's enough people that want to hear what would happen in the next chapter for these characters that Marvel and Disney are exploring how they can provide that without putting out so much money. Well, I think that answer is coming to us in the form of an anime. There's a rumor going around that the Eternals 2 is more so going to be turned into an anime movie. And I think that's honestly great. I think the form of animation, the style of it, of anime, is really popular right now. Suicide Squad Isekai, there's two uh, Netflix shows, Laura Craft and Terminator, that are drawn in the anime style. Uh, and there's even going to be a Rick and Morty episode that is drawn in anime style. In fact, you can probably watch that right now on HBO Max. So anime is becoming a lot more mainstream. I think it's a good idea for Disney and Marvel to embrace the style and save some money in the meantime because it's going to cost hundreds of millions of dollars to make a live action movie but it's going to cost nowhere near that to make an animated project now is it going to take a long time yeah you got to pay the voice actors you got to pay the animators there's a lot you still have to put into it it's going to take time but it's a lot smaller of an investment and I'm not sure if there's going to be as much money that would go into marketing or like doing a press tour as there would be if it was a live action movie. But if there is, you know, it's it's still going to be relatively cheaper, a lot cheaper than if you go and you film everything on site and do all this physical acting as opposed to bringing actors into the booth and just say, hey, let's read these lines and get it recorded. While that is still difficult and it's a different form of acting, it just doesn't cost as much as setting up locations, paying an entire film crew. That, all that money is really going to be going to the animators. So in the long term, it's really going to save money. And it's not as big of an investment on Disney and Marvel's part to say, hey, we can tell you the next chapter of the story and we can consider it a canon without having to spend all this money to do a live action series or a live action movie which I honestly think is a great idea because you can also do a ton of stuff in anime that you can't necessarily do without spending a ton of money on X. And if you were to say this is now going to be canon, you can gauge how much people might want to see these characters and other future projects based on the anime. Where I do think it's going to be kind of tricky 
is if you bring everything back from an anime into live action, are some things going to translate well? Because there's oftentimes cues of what people are thinking or how they're feeling with how people are drawn or, you know, symbols on their head or, you know, they get really hot and fiery. Are these ideas going to translate well to the actors and actresses? It's tough to say. It really just depends on the person and, of course, the writing and how they want to shoot it. There's a lot of variables to bringing, I think, an anime into the live action space. Netflix has done it, and I feel like it's been a hit or miss at times, but this is really unique for Disney and Marvel if they go down that path because it was live action. They're going to potentially do an anime, and if they bring it back into live action later on, it's... It's just so weird. It's never really been done before. So it'll be interesting to see how this goes. If they just make an animated, uh, an anime movie, then I'd say, hey, that's great. And, you know, just pick the characters up and put them in other franchises and other movies. And I think that will work pretty well because you can just let that anime kind of just be a pivot or turning point for these characters without having to really say, we now need to carry the exact same energy that we had in this animated movie, this anime movie into live action you can draw off them other where other parts of the marvel universe and you know just bring that same energy from those characters individually and not from the entire anime and it will probably be the same hopefully it'll be the same voice actors the same actors will be the same voice actor for that character so that should make it a little bit easier too now that's what marvel's doing right now or considering doing according to this rumor and I think DC should dive a little bit further into this as well. I think they should make a couple of anime series with their characters. An anime Teen Titans? That would be great. An anime Young Justice or an anime Justice League or even just an anime solo series for other characters. Now, I do have to say My Adventures of Superman is drawn very similarly. Pretty much, I would say, is a anime style, which I think they're doing a great job with that. So I think that's even further evidence that this animation style is here to stay. And I think DC just needs to invest more into it because I think it's very obvious that people like this and are connecting with it. And I think Marvel needs to push a little bit further into it. This might be just a test with this rumor to see, are people going to like it? Are they not going to like it? But I think they just need to go full in and do one or two movies or a series that is in the anime style and see how it goes. Make that investment. Now, that's what they're doing with anime. I think they also have an opportunity to do things in the manga style too. And when I say manga style, I'm referring, of course, to the DC Compacts, where it's an entire multi-volume comic book just in one book in a smaller format. This is a great idea. DC's doing this, they're highly successful, and they even have a commercial for it, which is crazy that there's a commercial for a comic book these days. I never thought I would see one, and we have one. So I really think that on top of doing the anime style for a movie or for a show, Marvel needs to go full on into doing this as well. And what's that gonna look like? Well, they have tons and tons of stories. They could easily do an Infinity War Saga compact version. They could do tons of different things with the X-Men. The X-Men is a perfect example to do this with. There's so many stories when it comes to X-Men and that so many people just don't know where to start. And if you could say, hey, you can buy one book, it's $10, $15, and it's everything you need to know about this run of the X-Men, I'd be like, sold. I'll, I'll buy every single one they come out. Because for me, I love reading the X-Men. There's some X-Men books that I haven't really read or some storylines that I haven't dived as far into because it's kind of hard to figure out where all those things are and where the crossovers are. So, And it gets expensive. Even if you have the Marvel app, sometimes it's hard to track down the stories you want to read. So doing these compact series for the X-Men, great idea. They could also do them really well for any other franchise that they have series coming out for, like the Thunderbolts. That would be a, a potentially good one. Uh, Ghost Rider, Doctor Strange. The best one, and the one that people are probably going to read the most, is going to be Spider-Man. Honestly, anything in the Ultimate line. 
that came out in the early 2000s or so, if you just said, hey, this is a compact Ultimate Spider-Man, that's every single Ultimate Spider-Man from that line, I'd buy in a heartbeat. I'd buy the X-Men in a heartbeat too, that's like that. So there's a lot of potential for Marvel to do something, not only in the anime realm, but also in the realm of compact books that is similar to what the manga style was kind of like. And I really think they're missing the boat on this. They're missing the opportunity. DC's gone full in on these DC compacts. We're going to get more later this year. There's about five or six out right now. And they just wrapped up an anime series. And My Adventures of Superman is an ongoing series that's anime. So I really think Marvel, this is where you need to invest. This is what your fans want. They may not really be telling you it, but if you look at the success that DC has had from these projects and from doing things in these styles, I think you're going to see that you're missing out. What do you guys think? Would you like to see more projects from Marvel come in a compact version like this or some anime projects for Eternals or for other characters? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that, bada boom.